In the studio now with us, Senator Ron Wyden. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me back. Always good to have you here, Senator. Let's start off with President Trump saying he's going to impose tariffs on Mexico. From Costco to grocery stores to automakers say consumers are really going to get hit in the pocketbook with this. A, do you think those tariffs will become reality, he says, by June 10th? And what kind of effect will it have on consumers? He's uh, sure going to push it because uh, he sees this as part of his just being tough program. And he doesn't realize that particularly for our state, this just defies common sense. You know, tariffs are taxes, and he somehow thinks that somebody else is gonna pay him. These are taxes that are gonna be paid by Oregon consumers and Oregon businesses. I was at a significant manufacturer today in the uh, Tri-County area. They were up in arms about it. Oregon, one out of five jobs depends on international trade. The trade jobs often pay better than do the non-trade jobs. Chuck Grassley is the chairman of the Senate Finance Committee. He spoke out against it. I'm the ranking Democrat. I spoke out against it. We're gonna do everything we can to try to derail it. And in more news impacting consumers, let's talk about the disaster relief package because there's a lot of money within this $19 billion package that actually is coming to farmers in Oregon, hazelnut growers and certain wineries because of smoke taint and also some severe weather. And it's only a what, few Republicans holding this up? Mm -hmm. Here, here's what happened. The wildfires and the big storms just hit Oregon agriculture like a wrecking ball. So what I did is I got together with other members of the delegation and said, we're going to step in. And you bet, this bill is really important for Oregon agriculture. We got about $3 million for the wine growers. We got $11 million uh, for the hazelnut folks. I mean, the reality is people love our hazelnuts all over the world. This is a major uh, value-added kind of opportunity for, uh, for Oregonians. And what I can tell you is there are other good things in it. Uh, I'm uh, the author of the original bill, The Legalized Hemp. We've got over 500 farmers interested in it. This bill would extend crop insurance to them. So we've got to get this done. There are exactly three Republicans uh, in the House of Representatives that are fighting this. And I bet that the rest of the Republicans are going to roll them as soon as we get back Do next you week. expect it to get done? And if so, when will farmers see some of that money? My, my sense is that in the House, the Republicans, who've also picked up that the president will sign this bill, they're going to tell those uh, three Republicans, well, you can go say your piece, but then you're going to fly a kite and we're going to get this thing passed. And I hope that by the end of next week that this is going to be on its way to Oregon. You made a lot of headlines this week when you said you're threatening to withhold the Treasury nominees until President Trump comes clean with taxes and financial information. Jeff, what is going on with respect to these tax returns is just unprecedented and it has been from the get-go. Every president for 40 years now, every Democrat, every Republican has made their returns available because making your returns available for a president is the lowest ethical bar there is. So we have been trying to get them on a voluntary basis. There is a law, it's called 6103, and it says in effect that the committees, the Ways and Means Committee in the House, the committee I serve on, the Finance Committee, shall be able to obtain the return. It's not up to the president's uh, um, whims of a particular moment. It says shall be able to get it. And the Treasury Department seems to be taking unprecedented action. It used to be a decision decided by the Internal Revenue Service. Now it looks to me like they politicized it in Steve Mnuchin's hands. I'm asking for answers, and I've made it clear that this is what congressional oversight is about. This is what uh, holding the executive branch accountable is all about, and I'm going to insist on it. Okay, Senator Ron Wyden, always a pleasure when you stop mm -hmm. by. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Thank you for being here.